Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. In terms of dates, we'll be going from the 18th of May up until the 24th, and we'll first have a look at a couple of games that have crept out without being in one of these videos for whatever reason, and then we'll move on to the week at hand. So which games are coming out for the Switch this week? Well, let's find out. So starting with a couple of games that are already out then, and the first of those is Little Kitty Big City. This calls itself a whimsical adventure and sees you trying to get a little cat home whilst exploring what the big city has to offer in an open world environment with a number of things to see and do. It's been described as untitled goose game, but with a cat of course, and it is a game that we have already reviewed if you do want more information. I'll put a link to that review as a card in the top right hand corner. This one sells for £22.49 or your regional equivalent. And the other game that's already out then is called Hand in Hand. This is a 2D split screen puzzle platformer where the player can control two characters at once or two players can of course play in co-op on one device. This sees two soulmates split apart and needing to find their way back to each other facing many difficulties and dangers along the way. It works in a split screen mode with one character on each screen in their respective locations and if playing in single player then you'll control both characters simultaneously with one joystick or the co-op mode of course sees two players controlling a character each and the game promises that each mode has its advantages. I do like these sort of puzzle games, I've played a couple of them in the past on various consoles and it does have quite a charming art style. I'm pretty sure my friend Dave over at Game It Up has reviewed this game. If that is the case, I'll put a link to his review, again as a card, in the top right hand corner. It sells for £10.99 or your regional equivalent. Let's move on to the games coming out this week then, and the first of those is Doug's Nightmare. This sees you playing as a self-doubting banana in a wacky mix of twin stick bullet hell and beat em up action, so says the blurb. It's a hand drawn bullet hell game where your job is to help Doug the banana overcome his fears by pounding them into oblivion. It's part top down twin stick shooter and part beat em up and uses twin stick controls as you dish out damage with there being a variety of weapons for you to use and skins for you to unlock as you go through the game. Every time I read this title I think of Bart's Nightmare, the game I played at least on the Super Nintendo way back when. A game I thought was quite underrated actually, there were a few Simpsons games on consoles back then this wasn't one of the more loved ones, and it was very difficult to be fair, but it's one I enjoyed back then. Wouldn't mind giving that another play one day, I must say. Anyway, this particular game is out on the 22nd, and it will sell for £5.49. Then we have Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I believe this was the second game in the Paper Mario series, I might be wrong there. I know this was, of course, the one that released on the GameCube and is very well loved. It's not one I've played, I must say. I played the N64 original and I've played a couple of the newer ones, the one on the Wii, the one on the Switch and the one on the Wii U, funnily enough. So I think it's only this one and the 3DS one that I haven't played. From my experience with the series as a whole and the earlier games in the series in particular, Obviously it's a turn based RPG with a real whimsical feel to it, very good use of humour and I'm assuming it has the action elements that the other games in the series had where you can increase the damage you do or reduce the damage you take by pressing buttons during combat. I'm actually looking forward to playing this one, as I said, never really played it back in the day. The GameCube PS2 era was when I started to drift out of games for a while, I was getting to that age where you go and do other stuff, so yeah, it'd be nice to play this one. It's out on the 23rd and it will sell for £49.99 or your regional equivalent. The next game is Haunty. This sees you playing as a ghost named Haunty on a quest for answers. You'll be using your haunting powers to command both creatures and the environment itself and can craft an array of solutions to puzzles and devise various approaches to combat scenarios according to the blurb. It uses a handcrafted art style with a two-tone colour palette and it promises a dynamic camera which will sweep and zoom in and out of the environments to emphasise certain scenes and provide direction to the character. 
There isn't a trailer on the eShop unfortunately, I'm just looking at screenshots, but it does look very striking that use of the two-tone palette, as mentioned, really does help it to stand out. It's hard to really gauge exactly what you're looking at though without a trailer, so hopefully I found one for you to look at right now. This one's out on the 23rd and will sell for £16.99. Then we have Wizardry Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord. This is actually a full 3D remake of the first Wizardry game that released back in 1981 and we'll see you craft your own party of adventurers and head into the labyrinth at the behest of the Mad Overlord Trebor. It says that this new remake is built directly on top of the original 1981 game's code so although it looks all new, underneath the hood is the authentic game. Quality of life improvements have obviously been made, and these include party management, navigation, spell casting, and combat, and it's really interesting for me at least to see a game this old get a full 3D remake. You know, we're used to games in a 10, 15, 20 years old bracket being remade these days, but for one that's over 40 years old, just a little bit older than me actually, to get that full remake, yeah, that's great. I'm really, uh, really intrigued by that, I must say. This one sells for £35, although it does have 10% available off of that price up until launch day, which is the 23rd. Also this week then we have Cards RPG, the Misty Battlefield, with Cards being an acronym for Commander Adventure Revolution, Deck Building Strategy, there you go. There are over 100 varieties of cards, all with unique designs, and you must clear away the mist on the map to discover enemies, facilities and equipment in order to form a battle plan. It combines SRPG turn-based battles with those card battle mechanics, and it releases on the 23rd for £35.09, or your regional equivalent, and there is a demo that you can try if you want to see what it's all about. Then we have Blade Jumper. This is a 2D action platformer where players use a symbol jump mechanic in order to climb the obstacle field tower. It's set in Seoul in 2045, with you having to climb the Kukuru Tower, a giant structure with an unfathomable width and height, to try and overthrow an authoritarian government. It says that as the players climb the tower, they will encounter all sorts of characters and discover breathtaking records. Not sure what that means exactly. With the higher they climb, the further the truth of the story will be revealed. Reaching the pinnacle is the only way to reveal the truth, and this one will sell for just £4.49, or your regional equivalent, when it releases on the 23rd, and it is another game that does have a demo. The penultimate game for the week is Pine Hearts. This describes itself as a cozy narrative adventure game set in the sleepy scenery of Pine Hearts Caravan Park. You can rummage around the park and find tools that will help you on your journey as you fill out your trusty hill walking journal. You'll be making friends, unlocking new tools and abilities, rediscovering memories of a previous time at the park, and there is a focus on puzzles, not combat, it says in the blurb. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting there to be combat in a game that describes itself as being so cosy, but it does go on to say that it takes the item-based progression of an RPG and combines it with Souls-like level design and wraps it in a wholesome aesthetic. Uh, there we go, my mind's blown, I don't know what to expect from this game now, but it does look lovely I must say, really quite fetching aesthetic I must say. It's out on the 23rd for £15.99. And finally for the week then we have Necro Bouncer. Here you must become the Necro Bouncer and toss out rowdy guests in a roguelike adventure through the nightclub dungeon. It says you'll be ripping through the crowd and busting up bosses, consuming powers hidden in gemstones to improve and upgrade your bouncing skills and stirring them together in various ways. 
you'll return stronger and angrier after every run, and you can experiment with outfits, each with its own perks, and upgrade your powers with a number of different artifacts. I must say I love the sound of this game, I do like roguelikes anyway when they're done properly, but the idea of being an undead bouncer in a dungeon nightclub is one I didn't know I needed until I just read it in a blurb. It's going to release on the 24th and it will cost £13.99 or your regional equivalent. So there you have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. Do any of those games interest you at all? Will you be picking any of them up? Please do let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget if you are looking for eShop credit to pick any of these games up, you can get your eShop cards via our website, switchup.gg. Doing so will get you 5% back in cash back of the money you spend to be used whenever you want at a later date. And there's also links down there to places such as PlayAsia, Premium Edition Games, Red Art Games, with links and codes to save you some money and they are affiliate links which does help the channel out so thank you if you do use them. Another thank you to our patrons and our channel members for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.